What's up? Darth Ermac, aka Darthius Ermacian. I'm just fucking around. <laughs> Nobody calls me that. <laughs> yeah, today we're playing as Mexican Sub Zero. I believe it was a pre order bonus. However, it wasn't really a pre order bonus, man. I had to go to the store and buy it. Same with Brazilian Tanya. I never bought Brazilian Tanya because I didn't have enough money. I only had enough money to buy one and I chose Mexican Sub Zero. Sub -Zero. That being said, I don't know too much about the competitive play. I do know Baraka and Cyrax is fucked up. Even when I was playing Combat League, I used Baraka and Cyrax. And I won. With that being said, so far, Serena seems to be doing good with um, Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero does low damage. And the reason why he does low damage, despite Scorpion being a thing, is because... For some reason, this has always been a legacy thing where if you freeze someone and do a combo, it's scaled. No matter what. You know what I mean? So, um, I think if I can remember correctly, for me, it's I found out doing blah blah Serena, blah blah freeze, blah blah Serena, blah blah freeze seems to be the most damage. Let's try it. Die, Shaku! Oh shit, I did the wrong assist. Oh shit, I hit my own desk. <laughs> oh no, I'm fucking up my combos, bro. Sub-Zero is the one I least played. I played like 10 minutes with him. And I said, you know what, that's all I need to know. Uh, get your shit out of here! Bam! Wham! Slam! Slam! Fucked up! Oh man! Wake up, slide! Let's find out what's his fatality. Four down, down. I'm sorry, Kenji. You never seen it coming. Choking on the drink I was just drinking, man. I'm drinking some Japanese wine, aka sake. I know the Chinese make it too, and it's called something else, but yeah, I'm drinking some sake. So to do a second fatality is forward, back, down, circle, and it says close. You know? I'm sorry, Tanya. You just so happened to fight a, a, a piece of shit named Sub Zero. Oh no, the whiff! Savage! Oh, not the whiff again! Oh my! I do think it's cool that Sub-Zero has an ice pick at the tip of his palm. Like, that's awesome. Cool little effect. Oh no, the fucking whiff! Taichu Tetsuo! I'm sorry. At least there was a brutality thrown in there. Can you stop being a savage for a moment, Bihan? Or 
Pijancito. Because <laughs> he's Mexican, you know what I mean? Latinos know that ender, bro. Even I have an ender similar like that with my name. For you guys that aren't Latino, we like to add Ita or Ito at the end of our names as a nickname, bro. So I got Ito, my brother got Cito, and my other brother has Tio. So Bihancito, that's what I'm going to call him when he's wearing Mexican attire. Ah! No! Not top tier Baraka! Oh! Please! Yo, I love that team, bro. Baraka and Kung Lao, they were like enemies. But then here you, you see them as team... Teammates. Get fucked! That was a sick conversion I just made up on the spot. Oh my god. Sub-Zero is fun, even though he's a low damaging character, bro. <coughs> oh, get out of here. Oh, get the... Yo, Serena, where are you? Oh man, not the whiffing. I'm so sorry. That's another brutality. brutality. A Bruce Lee. Wins. You're really gonna do Baraka like that? <coughs> that was a terrible Dashy impression. <laughs> Shout out Dashy. Man, I showed my cousin that. My cousin. You know, you know Dashy's mix. I will call him light skin. My cousin's light skin. I showed my cousin Dashy. And he's like, man, I'm so glad you showed me Dashy, bro. Hell yeah, man. Shout out Latino light skins. You know what? I won't even go into that, but it was about relationship shit. <laughs> you know what? But I will keep it at that. Shout out light skin girls and shout out my light skin family. Ow! Beerus? Beerus? I mean to say Gearus. Haha. <laughs> I'm so sorry for confusing Dragon Ball Z with fucking Mortal Kombat, bro. I got alcohol in my system. Yo, I need to chug that wine, bro. If I'm a real badass, I ain't no real badass, bro. I mean, I can't even say that about myself. We'll just leave it at that. I'm gonna elaborate. Ow! Oh. Oh, no. Okay, okay, never mind. I thought he did something else. <coughs> oh, shit, I did the wrong input. Okay, I'm sorry, Gears. I need to do the second fatality. Forward, back, down, circle. <clears throat> Damn. I think that could have been a little bit more impactful. Like with Sub Zero screaming or Gearus screaming in agony. But instead, we just got a mere. Ha! Come on, Sub Zero, you could have been like. Ha! With full enthusiasm, like you just finished killing somebody, you know what I mean? 
not that I know what that's like on my life. You know, like, whatever. With that being said, with that being said, I'll leave it at that. Oh my god. So first of all, I want to understand why the AI always picks Mexican Sub-Zero. And they always pick that color. I don't know what's going on, bruh. Whenever I see Tanya, she's never wearing her Brazilian outfit. But Sub-Zero is always wearing his Mexican outfit. So, that's what I don't know. Yo, how do I do that? Um, charge move. I slide. Nope. How do I do that shit? I slide. Ice glacier. That's the dive kick, I presume. You know what? I don't even think it's a fucking special move. I think it's just some charge ass move. Yo, Me Mexicano. Bro, that was kind of cool. Yo, I... I brain farted, bro. Sub Zero, please don't kill me, man. I've been doing Gucci up until I met you. Ow! <clears throat> Overhead. Oh no, I did it too late. Bro, I didn't even have the meter, man. Sub zero shit, I'm not even gonna attempt the deathless. This guy has garbage fucking damage. You gotta eat all your meter, and of course, the AI, the reading cock sucking motherfucking suck ass dick bitch, knew what the fuck to do. Not to mention, I own, I brain farted in this shit. And you know what I hate about the computer? They know when you're gonna do an OK. You play online, I get people all the time. So I honestly think AI is harder than a human because they're so fucking perfect at reading your shit. Yo, that was awful scaling. No! What are you doing, computer? What are you doing, step bro? <laughs> Dead, bro. The scaling's too crazy. The 
Never mind. He's dead. Oh my god, he's not dead. Holy shit. Mortal Kombat, you gotta buff Sub Zero's damage. Are you crazy? Sub Zero. I don't even think a 50% combo exists with this guy, bro. Like, even MK11 Sub Zero had a crazy damage, man. Like, crazy good damage. Over here, they, they destroyed him in this game. This is why I didn't even play this dude. I'm only playing it because, like, hey man, everyone likes to see Sub-Zero. A Mexican Sub-Zero? I'm sure a lot of you guys might be racist and be like, Oh, I hate Mexican Sub-Zero. He's not Mexican. <laughs> and to be fair, I hear you, bro. He's Chinese, so why is he wearing Mexican attire? Whatever, Sub-Zero is fucking ass in this game, so I don't even care about doing a Deathless. I know I could do it, I'm just not gonna do it, you know? I'm sorry to say that, man, but NRS needs- I heard- I didn't get to play the beta because I'm a PC player. My brother has a PS5, so we got to play the beta. I heard Sub-Zero was crazy in the beta. So what was the response? Nerf him to the ground. I guess because they understood that people have PTSD with MK11 Sub-Zero. And to be fair, whenever I used to play Combat League, whenever some dickhead would pick Sub-Zero, I used to mirror them. And a lot of the times I would win. Because Sub-Zero is a brain-dead character in MK11. All they gotta do is low high, low, I mean, low overhead, low overhead. That's it. And he had awesome conversions. In this game, you can do overhead and shit like that. But it's hard to convert with this low unless you have the proper assist. Let's see, can Serena convert off his low? Okay, yeah. Dementia! I'm so bad. It's taking me a while to learn when the exact frame they're gonna wake up. Because every fighting game is different. Ow! Por qué? Ayúdame! <laughs> Why do they speak in Spanish? Because I'm Mexican Sub Zero. A Mexicano. Persona. Ayuda! No mames! Ah! Por qué? That's an exclusive because I'm Mexican Sub Zero. Second of all, I'm not Mexican, but Mexicans say no mames? Or. They say they're Mexican shit, you know what I mean? I had I'm. The Lin Kuei free of Liu Kang's enslavement. I'm taking a piss, we BRB. No masters of our destiny and could take our place among Earthrealm's great nations. But taking and holding territory would require that. a vast army. I needed more fighters to make our presence felt. Then I recalled Shang Tsung's dragon warriors. An army of them would be unstoppable. But trafficking in such strong magic would surely draw Liu Kang's attention. Sector advised that we avoid detection by building our army using science, not sorcery. We've invested much into this endeavor, and we are beginning to see results. Once again proving the depths of Sector's genius. When we are done, all of Earthrealm will honor our desires and heed our demands. If not, they will face the Lin Kuei's wrath. Okay, okay, I see you. You're responsible for the Cyber Initiative as opposed to the Grandmaster, which was Sector's dad. 
the old timeline. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed that video, like, comment, and subscribe. I haven't even taken a piss yet, so I'm about to end this shit. I hope all y'all have an amazing day and an amazing night. Peace out. Ha! Sub-Zero. Serena. Oh, <laughs> 
Sub-Zero wins. Round Round. 